Hi, all you dreamers of the world. Kasumi Mando here, the virtual singer-songwriter and producer, and it's time for a review of this classic J-pop album, Haruomi Hosono's Hosono House. This is the legendary album created by one of the most influential musicians in the history of J-pop, Haruomi Hosono. Hosono is a legendary figure in Japanese music, known for his work with Happy End, Yellow Magic Orchestra, and his innovative solo projects. Hosono House is his debut solo album. Although the album was released half a century ago on May 25th, 1973, the album continues to inspire a new generation of musicians. Harry Styles made his album Harry's House directly inspired by this album. He said, the album is named after Haruomi Hosono. He had an album in the 70s called Hosono's House. And when I spent the time in Japan, I heard the record and I was like, I love that. It would be really fun to make a record called Harry's House. And the album was often cited as one of the best albums in the history of J-pop. This was Hosono's first solo album and was one of the first of its kind in Japan where musicians recorded the entire album at their own home. The album was recorded for 5 hours every afternoon in a 144 square feet large bedroom in Hosono's residence with a 16 track mixing console in his living room. The instruments were recorded unprocessed from the amplifiers in the small room, leading to the album's unique sound. You could arguably say that this is the one of the first original lo-fi home recording albums in the history of modern music. In a 2001 Japanese radio interview, Hosono said that the reason he wanted to record at his own home was to create a relaxed atmosphere, without the pressure of time and money spent in the professional recording studio. He said that even in the recording studio, he would make an effort to make it a relaxing atmosphere as much as possible by placing a couch to make it look more like a living room and so forth. But he realized that the best way to do so is to bring all the recording gears into his own home. This album was made as he was starting to wrap up his band activity with Happy End. He started recording as his side project with a group of musicians which eventually became the band Tim Pan Ali, which included Shigeru Suzuki, a guitarist from the band Happy End, and most of the other musicians in the Tim Pan Ali were mostly producers themselves. The album kicks things off with the track Rock by My Baby, and right away you're hit with this warm inviting vibe. It's like you're invited to his apartment where he's recorded this album. It's just him singing and his guitar. He's known as a bass player, but he started with the guitar in the beginning before he picked up the bass and I'm really impressed with his guitar skills here. At first, I thought it was his guitarist bandmate Shigeru Suzuki playing the guitar but you could see from live footage like this that it is indeed he himself playing the guitar in this track. Second track, Boku wa Chotto, continues the laid-back atmosphere, but with a four-band production with a slightly more playful edge. There is a whimsical quality to this track, thanks to the catchy melodies played by lap steel guitar. It's kind of the song that puts a smile on your face without even trying. We are picking up the pace with the third track, Choo Choo Gata Goto. This track has a funky groove that'll have you nodding your head along in no time. The bass line is infectious, and the jazzy piano has a nice touch. It's like a taking a musical journey on a funky Tokyo train ride. For me personally, songs in the middle section of the album I did not really care for much, but it picks up later in the album with the song Koyu wa Momoiro, which means peach color is the color of my romance. What you notice in these songs in this album is the improvement and maturity in Hosono's vocals compared to Happy End's first album. 
In the same interview from 2001 Japanese radio, he said of listening to James Taylor for the first time, right before recording this album. He's learned to sing in a much lower register where he's more comfortable singing just like James Taylor. He also said in another interview that stylistically, he was trying to emulate the band's album, music from Big Pink and James Taylor's One Man Dog. The lyrics of the song are infectiously imaginative. You can just imagine the scenery of suburban cities of Tokyo. The last song, Barato Yaju, which means Rose and Beast, is one of my favorite along with Koiwa Momoiro. Listen to the bass guitar melodies throughout the song. It's absolutely one of my favorite bass lines of all songs I've heard. This makes him such a genius in my opinion. He's not known as a great bass player per se, he's more known as a songwriter, producer, and innovator, yet his bass playing and bass line he came up with are true genius to me. Hosono House by Haruomi Hosono. This album is a timeless classic that deserves a spot in any music lover's collection. From start to finish, it's a journey through Hosono's musical imagination, and it's one that influenced and continued to influence many of the young generation of musicians all over the world. The album played an important role in boosting the power of singer-songwriters and the possibility of self-producing and home recording. This was the very two of the J-pop classic album review and I am planning to do 100 classic J-pop album reviews the albums that play the important role in the development of J-pop music or ones that are quintessential to understanding the culture of Japanese pop music Alright dreamers, I'll be back in a few days I hope you have a great day and take a step closer to your dreams